Hey guys, welcome to Anju Risa channel. I'm Trisa, but to make it easy, you can call me Risa. And in this video, I will show you how to make this habo with beautiful pleated tails. And I need about a week to find the right size and the right pattern to make this habo. And I'm going to share it to you in this video. So let's get started. First, choose your own fabric. Agak gelap ya. Coba gua terangin deh. First, choose your own fabric, and you can literally use any fabric for this. I am using satin fabric for this, and the size is about 60 centimeters by 18 centimeters. I will write the size below here in centimeters and inches. So the first thing is we take the whole fabric and fold it in half, and we simply sew along, sew a straight line right here. I am using one centimeter seam allowance, so I will use this line as the guide. After we sew the fabric, we just turn the fabric right side out. The reason that I use a very long fabric is I want to make two bows with only one piece of fabric. So it's easier and it's more convenient. Next is to press the fabric. I will take my pillow first. I take my pillow as an ironing board and you can simply iron the fabric and make sure that you place the seam here right in the center. Next, I want to mark the center of the fabric on the right side here the fabric in half and select the ruler we can simply draw a straight line right in the center after this I will fold this fold it to the wrong side wrong sides together and I will measure about 13 centimeters you can see 13 centimeters is about 5 inch pass has a little measure about 13 centimeters and draw a straight line then you can simply sew this part after you sew this part and then you can just open the fabric can open it and place it right in the center turn it over now you can fold the fabric to the center and we are going to sew this part Now you can put this piece aside. Next, prepare a square fabric and the size is about 40 centimeters. And with the right sides together, we are going to fold the fabric to form a triangle. And we are going to sew all along the edge, right here. And leave an opening right here to let us turn the fabric later. this we leave an opening right here and it's hard to show you from this camera so i'm showing to you from that camera it's to form a triangle next is to cut every corner i will cut the corner like this so when you turn the fabric right side out it won't be too bulky and we cut it like this and do the same thing right here. Next, turn the fabric right side out. I will use a painting brush or any, any other pointy stuff to push the corner because this corner is quite tricky. We need to push it so it has a nice finish. And do the same thing right here can see can push it 
perfectly. Now we are going to press the fabric. I'm going to press the fabric. Next, I'm going to fold the fabric back and forth. It's about 5 centimeters. So I'm going to fold the fabric here and then fold it again. Fold it like this. Fold it like this and this. Now you can see the shape. When you fold it like this, it will naturally form the folds. Next is to gather the fabric. And then take the bow. And we are going to gather the fabric right in the center. Gather the fabric, tie it, and secure the thread. And you can see when we fold the fabric back and forth, it will naturally form the folds. Now I'm going to attach a hair clip right at the back side of the bow. Hair clip, hair clip, hair clip, hair clip, hair clip, hair clip. Hair clip, hair clip. Attach the hair clip with hot glue gun, of course. Now we are going to finish the bow. Take the center of the bow. I think this is too long. I will cut it first. Prepare a small piece of fabric. The size is about 12 centimeters by 10 centimeters. With the right sides together, we are going to fold it and sew this part. Turn the fabric right side out. Next, attach this to the center of the bow. I'm going to fold the center piece like this. And do the same thing. And we are going to sew this part for the last time. Cut the excess fabric and turn the fabric right side out. And flip the fabric, I mean. And now after you turn the center piece, I want to make sure that it stays in place. So I'm adding a step of glue right in the center here. And there you go. Our beautiful hair is finished. Thanks for watching this video. If you find this tutorial useful, please give me a thumbs up and share this video. If you don't, just hit the dislike button and comment below about what you don't like. See you in my next video. Bye!